that silly neighbor. To help Elliot end his run of bad luck, Ryan's taking him to stake out Lily Allen's house. Spying on a private home might seem unethical, but the financial rewards override scruples. Well, at the minute we're on our own, so if she does do something, you know, we can you know, get exclusive. You know, if she does something out of the normal, then you know, you've got a good chance of earning quite a bit of money. The month before, they shot big money pictures from the same spot. It appeared she left her keys outside the house. So basically, yeah, she basically started scaling her, her front wall. Climbing up her wall. Yeah, jumping up and down. And <laughs> we were in the car, so she didn't see us. We saw those exclusive, we got quite a bit of money for them. Nine grand, apparently. And with that kind of money at stake, ideas of what's fair can become pretty flexible. If they don't know you're there, they're going to get up to the usual tricks. Silly things, spitting on the pavement, like the cigarette when they're not supposed to smoke, falling over, meeting people they shouldn't meet, uh, all sorts of different things. And that is really the essence of it. Oh, fuck off, is that a pap? Are you sure? Yeah, 100%, he's standing by the tree. See? You're joking. <sighs> Unwilling to lose his exclusive, Ryan hatches a plan. Short it. You want it. You want I'm going to be on the left. Yeah. Just block the right if possible. <laughs> They're going to go, <laughs> we go short. While Ryan will stay back, Fall Guy Elliot will short it, moving in close, blocking their rival's view. It's breaking the rules. Even Paps have a code of right and wrong. Oi! Who's your fellow, bro? Nice guy. Made an enemy. <laughs> what was he saying? Jump in my shot again, I'm gonna fuck you up. Go and film all this. Of course they weren't with you. <laughs> you just jumped straight in my shot, I got fucked up. I want to frame you, eh? I want a frame? Yeah, let's give them a frame. Let's give another agent see our pictures. I've got really good frames of her coming out. Go, yeah. go. No, I can't, mate. Don't do it. And what are you yeah. worried about? Elliot thinks they might have gone too far. Don't worry about it. Don't worry no, about it. I'm not worrying about it. Listen, at the same time, we're here to get pictures. We ain't here to play a fucking game. We're here to take pictures and sell them. What but we did. No, no, no. It's our thoughts in it. No. What other people think about well, it. Well, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he ain't, you know, people don't come out for a bit of fun to pick up a camera and take a picture of someone. Oh, look what I've got. We come out to take pictures and to earn money. That is our job. That is what we do. That's what the papers want. That's what the magazines want. That's what TV want. That's what all the online media want. That's what we do. So, however we get the pictures, as long as it's a fair. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fair. Not loyal. What's the word? Tell me out. You'll never make it in this game without upsetting a few people along the way. It's a case of deciding just how far you're prepared to go. On the prowl in Primrose Hill, Lone Gun Craig's closing in on one celeb who likes to keep the press out of his private life. Jude Law's car is just down there somewhere. So I'm guessing he's in the park, and I'm guessing he might actually be with his kid. Mm. Celebrities and their children, you can't really photograph. It's a bit naughty. What's going on, Mitch? <laughs> just basically, they don't like it, really. No, they fucking hate it. Jude Law has good reason to dislike press intrusion. Ow. Today, face hidden, he's trying to keep a low profile and watch his son play football. private family moment for Jude Law, but a good potential earner for Craig.
No, I never feel guilty about it. It never really concerns me. Obviously, I, I'm never, I'm not out to upset everybody and all that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, everyone has to be photographed because people want to know about it. That's just, I don't know. That's just how it is. That's life. Just because everyone wants to know doesn't mean they've got the right. If someone really hates it, shouldn't they be left alone? How I look at it is, he can't just switch off the big, massive publicity switch on and off sort of thing when he wants and when he chooses sort of thing. He can't lap up the fame one minute because he's got a new film coming out and then the next minute not be photographed. It's just not how it works. You either are in the public interest and you are photographed and stories are written about you or you don't do any of that and you're not famous and you're just, you're just a normal person. You work in an office and you get on with it. Thanks very much, Jude Law. See you later. <laughs> the notion of privacy in a public place is a contentious issue. So how far are the PAPs and their paymasters in the press prepared to go? You wouldn't see me standing out someone's, literally outside of someone's front door, photographing them just because, I know, their kids just got leukaemia or something, or something along those lines, something that's really bad. You just, I, I do have my limits, and if it was someone's funeral or something, you'd have respect if you did go and do it. But you probably wouldn't see me go and do something like that. Anything which, you know, if, if someone's been... I don't know, diagnosed with something, anything like that. You know, it's just respect where they need time on their own actually to get their head together. You, you know, the least they need is some, you know, photographer standing outside trying to prowl on them. You know, it's just, that's for me, that, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, as me as a person and how I've been brought up, it's just something I wouldn't do. It's just pure courtesy and principles. And I'm quite happy to say that. And if it sells for 100,000, because I can imagine that makes principles go out of the window. Um, well, um, at the end of the day, if, if, you know, if her picture's worth tens of thousands of pounds, which, you know, you've got to get something pretty special, and when you mean, when you mean moral, what do you mean, in what, so you mean go over the, go over that line to get the picture, is that what you were trying to say? Um, depending on who it was and what they were doing, um, if it was worth big money, I'd, I'd do it and then run. With money winning out over morals and an insatiable public appetite for scandal, it seems that anything goes. But even the British tabloids have their limits, as Lee and Ryan realised when they got an upskirt snap of the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. We didn't realise what we actually had until we wound the camera back. We've had to blot it out for legal reasons, but she revealed everything there was. <laughs> uh, so we thought, what a result. This is a great shot, fantastic shot. Anyway, we could not sell that picture anywhere because it was a royal. Preserving royal modesty apart, little else seems off limits. They sell their soul to the devil when they become a celebrity. These people need that publicity to get their work. As much as we need them to get our work, they need us. You can wreck someone at the end of the day or lose their job, I know, but at the end of the day, why, if they, 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 OK, they're in the public eye. They know people watch them. They know people know about their private life. They know literally everything they do. So if you're going to do and do something stupid, then you're asking for it. You feel sorry for anyone you photograph. You have to keep that distance. You know, there have been occasions where you can, well, I haven't really had it, to be honest, where you feel, where you feel most sorry for them. Um, no, you don't, I don't think you really had it. Um, a lot of the people, they're game for it, really. 